Well, I got the old wheel horse back in the barn today. Uh, after I fixed my steering, the doggone shifter came out of the transmission. So I guess I'm going to have to uh, take a look at that and see if I can't fix it. So I was mowing out in the backyard and I had to back up, shifted it, and my shifter came out. I ended up figuring out how to get it back into the transmission and get it up here to the barn. Now I gotta fix it. So I'm gonna take the seat off, take the back here off so I can get down to the transfer case and transmission and See if I can't figure out how to make this thing stay in there. Alright, so I got to take the seat off. Got to take the rear deck off of it. Uh, get down, probably take the gas tank out of it. So I get down to the transmission to put this thing in. And uh, silly me, I didn't push record. There was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five sixteenths bolts I had to take out to get the seat off. And the back deck. So I got that off. Just got done vacuuming this up down inside here so I could see what's going on. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six bolts I got to take out of here. Look like they're all 5 16 bolts with a, a half inch head on them. Uh, there's one right here that I don't know if I can get a wrench on to hold the other, the head of the bolt on the other side. So I can pull this whole piece off. good when you pinch your finger. Alright. Got it. Perfect. I have to weld that up before I put that back on. I can take this piece off right here. Might be two bolts holding this gas tank in. I'll give it a shot and see what happens. Look right there, there's a bolt. And there's one like it on the other side. I think if I pull those out, the uh, gas tank will pop off. It's actually right here. And then it looks like if I take off those other four bolts, I can pull the whole gas tank bracket off. This right here is just a bung. I can just pull this out of the gas tank just like that. Let me see if I can't pull these screws out or these bolts out of here. side and get those ones. There, got the gas tank off. There's a couple bolts right down in there. One there. One there, I'll take those off and pull this whole bracket off, I'm guessing. Probably could have just did that without even taking the gas tank off. One. And 
and two. Perfect. Don't ask me what all those wires are for. They're not hooked up, so they ain't for nothing as far as I'm concerned. I'm trying to do this the most economical way that I can, if there's a way to. Otherwise, i got to split the casing here and get inside of it. But it's looking like there's some kind of set screw up here on the front where the uh, shifter goes down in that hole right there. And uh, maybe there's something I can be able to do with that. I don't know. We're going to check it out and uh, see what happens. So after a little research, I discovered that this pin right here, there's a hole in that donut right there. And the pin goes through that. And if I look at this here dirty shifter let me see if I can wipe it off you can see that the pin goes through right there so as you can see here the pin is broken off inside that donut so this will be Hopefully a much easier repair than I was expecting So I'm guessing that set screw I found up there holds this uh, swivel washer in here, maybe and uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and take it loose and see if I can't get this out of here without losing it that it goes in there's a couple slots on either side and I know it moves around in there like that somehow so somehow we're gonna figure this out got my grandson's quad in the way I fixed it the other day in my way and he hasn't been over in like a month to ride it. All right. So as you can see maybe if I can get some focus here got the pin out there we go Got the pin out of there. Got the pin out of there. Now I just got to figure out a way to make a pin for it. So what I've discovered now that my super genius uh, buddy is here that I said I was going to have come fix it. Supposed to be a roll pin through there. So he just put the roll pin in there. The roll pin just goes through there, so that's what we're doing. Where's the set screw at? See if we pull too many amps. So then we just stick it back in there and I just hold it in place. Hold that in place. Huh. I don't hope it's 
that were open has a caught on something there. And you line the bolt up, make sure it pushes against the open. Yeah. Make sure it goes in the hole up against the rope. Make sure it goes in the hole? Yeah. So remember, sir, that ball sits just about right on top. All that is is loosen the nut. I never did loosen the We'll tighten the bolt up a little bit. Make sure the shifter moves freely. Yep, it's not binding, and just put the chain up against it. Yeah, I grabbed the right one the first time. How about that? Are you trying to pull up on it too so you can pull it out? And below the the hole, aren't you? The hole. Yeah. I think that ball sits almost right flush on the top of that. Huh. Yeah, it's not there. Yeah, that's what it was. That's definitely where it was because the nuts all the way tight and it loosened the nut. Yeah. I've got that rope in and so that bolt should almost dead stop. It'll dead stop before it pushes on the rope in. Put it here. Because you want to make sure that your all balls all the way down. Yep. Let me get my boot back, my dust cover back on here. I'll bring mine over and get another video on how to fix the steering pump. All right. There. That'll keep the. I don't know. This must have been part of the boot. This is part of the retainer that holds on the boot place. Goes like that. That piece of tube I had goes. I don't know what it's for, but I'm sure you can tell me if I can find it. You should consider trying a new gas line right out of the park. Uh, I just ran new gas line. From front to rear? Well, maybe up to the. Do they have a metal line in between? Or not? No. I ran it from here up to the filter. Okay. I think it's leaking ahead of the filter. What the heck is this for? It was just sitting here. It's not a vent. Unless a line... Oh, is that what the gas line originally went through or something? I don't think so. Uh, it was just underneath this bracket right here. And went right here where this is. Maybe it was. I just put that just like that. Or Let me look up behind you. put it back in here either way, because that, that was in there. Not unless the gas line ran through this at one time. That's what I mean. Time. Yeah, because this was like this. And like this. Yeah, it might have ran through it. So uh, maybe just to keep this from keep rubbing it on it. There, yeah. We don't need this part. You're asking me to advise you on something that I haven't touched in 20 years. Yeah, I know. That's more than that because I've had it. Well, maybe not. I've had it almost 20 years. Well, we were a Toro Wheel Horse dealer. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, oh, that's right. But most of these are. Then come back into the shop. Right. They didn't have a lock washer on? Nope.
don't know if my dad ever had that poor part or not. He might have. This? Yeah. Mm. Perfect. All right, Mike. Yeah. Take the rubber ground off that hose first. Off the hose? Yeah. Oil it up, stick it in the gas tank. All right. A little bit of grease around the nipple. Oh my gosh. And you smack her in place. So otherwise, all you do is rip that boot and try to put it in the way. It's already ripped. <clears throat> Why don't I just uh, put some grease around it and go... You won't get it in. Did I rip the ground up? No! Okay. Yeah. Because the nipple's flared. Yeah. So when you push the nipple in, it widens the grommet out, holds the grommet in the tank, and also holds the nipple in. Right. Okay. But they don't push in very easy. Is there a pair of pliers right there? Take the whole valve off or just the grommet? Take the whole valve off. Yeah. That way you can do it on the bench because you really have to push to get that valve back in the ground. And it might bite you. It's ripped. It's jumping. But only on the bottom side. Yeah, I won't see it. If my shop wasn't a mess, I could tell you where this five was. He's got five of these in his shop. I guess we'll wait on those then. I'll just put everything back together. You saying it'd be easier with this off though, right? It's a lot easier pushing it off. All right. Well, that's where we'll stop today. in the bin or yeah kind of everywhere good luck <coughs> thanks you know one of these days we get organized i know it and i'll get surprised <laughs> in the bin. Huh. There were some in this one, right?
application. Yeah, straighten it up back out. A little bit anyway. These rubber holes over that slime set so it's not going to rump through it. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, just head down the side of it and slip it on top of it. So. Because that way, if the nut vibrates off, the bolt yeah. is still there, it won't be split. Time to be taxed. Yep. You want one? Please, yes. You don't need to tape hot up a mirror filter on, do you? Don't need to do what? Tape hot up a mirror filter in. No, I guess not. I ain't even taping what I'm doing right now. Got my hand on it though. And guess what? Don't fit? Don't fit. Dang it. That's too bad. So let's do the big naughty. That's nine sixteenths or a half an inch. That's a nine. Where's the half? Yeah, I'd replace the filter, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I know it needs a filter. Probably has for the past 10 years. lid back on here. And the seat. And we'll be all done. Because I trust that Kevin's gas line work is going to be impeccable. And we have no gas.
Yeah. You know, take that seat out there. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this board too. She just keeps on going. Done deal. time I'll be in the barn thanks for watching <laughs>